Hey runners, this is a how-to guide for those running a Garmin and a Stride running power meter so that you can avoid having issues with Garmin running power interfering with your Stride data either during a run or after in the post analysis. This is especially helpful if you're using structured workouts. The four things I'm gonna go over are connecting Garmin and Stride together so they work seamlessly from the outset, then configuring the data fields from within the Connect IQ app on your mobile. Then we'll connect the sensors correctly to our Garmin so we can completely shut off Garmin running power. Then we can get the data field set up on our watch so that we can run with stride running power and use structured workouts using stride running power. Let's go. Step one is getting our Stride and Garmin accounts connected. We're actually only going to be using two apps, so we won't be using this main Garmin app, which you probably normally look at for when you're looking at stuff from your watch. First, to get started with Stride, we'll go open up the Stride app. We'll go top right to go to settings, and we'll scroll down to connected accounts. The connected accounts will have a list, and we want to select Garmin. Mine's already connected, and I want you to toggle on import and export then we can go back back and we can grab our username and select our pod there will be our ant plus id which we would like to write down mine there is 13639 now we want to get the stride data field on our watch so we'll open up garmin connect iq app and down the bottom we can go to the search option and we can search for stride zones so the stride zones data field is the first one where mine says settings yours will say install so go ahead and install that data field once the data field is installed you should have the option for settings there in the blue if not you can just go back and device in the bottom right and then you can select my data fields stride zones and then you'll be able presented with the settings option input our ant plus id that we wrote down as well as our stride username not our garmin username our stride username everything else can be left as is and you can play around with that in terms of what it displays on your watch later hit save and we're ready for the next step now we're going to set up the stride data field on our watch so from the left hand side we're holding the middle button which is the up button and we can scroll down to sensors and accessories Within there, we're just selecting add new and search all. You may want to give your pod a little shake and that should come up with a bunch of different sensors. So we've got a foot pod, we've got a power meter and we've got stride X. So I'm going to go ahead and add all of those. Once we've added all of those sensors, we can add new again. This time we're scrolling down to foot pod and we can add that foot pod with the ant eye. Important tip number one, disabling redundant connections. Now super important step so we don't get mixed readings is to turn off most of the sensors that you just added. The one we want to leave is the one with the running shoe which is FP and then your ant ID. So I'm going to just scroll down and we'll turn off the power icon one. We'll turn off the running dynamics one and we will turn off the stride X or just stride, whatever yours comes up as. So the only one connected should be the foot pod option and all others should be coming up as off. Now we're going to set up the stride data field on our watch. We're going to hold up on the left hand side in the middle. We'll scroll down to activities and apps and we're just going to select run and we'll go run settings. We'll scroll down to running power and we want to toggle that off so we're not getting interference from Garmin running power, only getting stride running power. Then we can just go back and now we can go up to our data fields. We'll just keep scrolling back up to the top and we can select data screens. So if we just scroll up or down, we'll get you there and we want to go add new. We're going to do custom data and now we're just doing choose one field. So just hit enter or go again. Choose one field and connect IQ fields. I already have two of two added, but within there will be your stride zones. Add your stride zones and then you can choose where you'd like to place it on your screen. It's important to get stride data fields on its own screen so you can get structured workouts working correctly. The next time you go for a run, 
your Stride data field will be on whatever screen you put it on. And from there, once you hit start, you'll be able to see all of your running power data. Important, if you're doing a structured workout, the actual Garmin running power information will not show. It will need to be on a stride data field to show you how to do your structured workout. The standard inbuilt Garmin running power will no longer be available to you because we toggled that off. So everything will need to be on the stride set data field. Important tip number two, repeat the previous steps for your other running modes. Trail, track run, treadmill run. You want to go in and turn off Garmin running power and add the stride zones data field to its own page so that you can get everything working seamlessly across all of your runs. And the final step is to set our data recording rate so we're getting accurate data. We'll hold up from the middle left hand menu and we'll go up again to system settings and we're going to scroll all the way down to data recording making sure that we have every second recorded. And there you have it, that's how to get your stride running power meter and your Garmin watch working seamlessly together. If you have the dual pod set up, everything is exactly the same. I'll link to the full help doc on the stride website in the description and if you have any comments post them below and I'll catch you on the next one. All the best with your training.